Hey there, it's harmonica player Ross Walters with a harmonica lesson. Uh, I am going to talk about four different minor scales. And this exercise is something that my saxophone teacher showed me years ago. It's part of a larger exercise involving eight different scales. Um, this time we're just focusing on the, the minor scales in the exercise. But the basic idea is that we're going to play a scale and then just keep a steady stream of notes. We're going to repeat these dots here. Those are repeat signs. And I suppose I should notate three times up here or four times. Um, but every time we repeat, we're going to alter one note. And we just keep going. We keep altering notes. So this scale that you see here, this is the Dorian scale. Dorian. Um, on the repeat, we are going to flat the sixth. The B is going to be flat. We'll let the B carry through the measure, the B flat. So, um, and that scale is known as the natural minor. That scale has like two or three other names, but we're going to call it the natural minor here. So, uh, Here's an example of just working on these two scales together. So, I, uh, I played the Dorian, I took the repeat, I changed the B to a B flat and played the natural minor. The next time we repeat it, we're going to alter one more note, and that's the, we're going to raise the seventh, make that a C sharp. So, in this case, this is the, can you read it if I write it here? Harmonic minor. So playing all three of those in a row. There you go. Dorian natural minor and harmonic minor scale. Um, the next thing we do is we're going to raise this six back up. And that is the melodic minor. So all four of these scales together And there you go, uh, four minor scales. Now, uh, this is a rather ambitious exercise because I would advocate for doing this in all of the keys. And so 12 times four, that's 48 different scales. It's pretty ambitious. I actually would say to work on these scales individually in all keys first. Use this exercise to tie them all together. The, the point I want to bring about with this exercise is um, first of all to let you know the differences between these scales. I remember as a young saxophone student seeing these minor scales with the different names and not really getting it until I started studying jazz and then it was like oh I gotta become acquainted with these and it really it wasn't until my teacher showed me this exercise that that I got it because I knew exactly which notes were being altered to produce these different scales. Here's the thing you're gonna notice um, a good exercise to do when you're learning, if you want to learn all these different forms of the minor scale, um, you're going to notice the only thing that we changed was the sixth and the seventh degrees. Remember the first thing we did, we flatted the sixth. And then the next thing is we raised the seventh. The next thing we did was we raised the sixth back up. So um, all we did is we took every possible combination of uh, of the sixth and seventh degrees, altering them that we could, and we came up with four different scales. The first five notes of all of these scales are exactly the same. It's the same. And so you might want to do something like this. 
just playing the first five notes of the minor scale in all of the keys. Just moving up by half steps, you can start with the D minor. And that's D, back where we started from. So, spending time with the first five notes, and then just realizing, hey, I just got to deal with the sixth and seventh degrees and these different variations of them for these other scales. Um, it is a thing to get used to on the harp and all of the keys. Anyway, so, um, great exercise. I would almost like to make it a different lesson to talk about the applications of, of these four scales, the practical applications for an improviser. Anyway, until next time, I want to say happy harmonica playing.